Hey guys, coming up in this video, I'm going to show you the containers that I use for nail art and, um, you know, just some of the recyclables I knew, you knew, you knew, <laughs> I use. And, you know, it's good to reduce, reuse, and recycle, so. Please subscribe down below and give it a like if you like this video. Now, let's get on to the video part, the actual DIY showing you stuff. The first thing is an ice cream top. The... Yeah, I'm gonna break it. If you watch any of my other 20 videos, uh, you see that I use a lot of acrylic paint. This is what I dump the acrylic paint on, and I mix it when I'm mixing colors, and I dump, if I use nail polish, I'll dump it on here too. The reason why I like using a um, ice cream top is it's, it's very easy to clean. Uh, everybody eats ice cream once in a while, so you probably have one around. Before, instead of recycling, you know, you're using it, you know what I mean? So, a good thing about this is you don't really have to clean it because it just peels off the paint. On to the next thing, I am going to be using this, uh, old fen- old fence. <laughs> I should make a video of all my bloopers! You delete my bloopers? I don't you know. You delete your bloopers. Okay, no, we just kind of made a video on shotgun. Pretzel rod container. Now let's go to that part. It's gonna be in voiceover. Voiceover. Now I'll start by taking this sticker off, and I'm gonna use this razor blade, which was a big mistake. I it was really dull and dangerous, so I decided just to rip it off with my hands. It's a, it's a lot easier just to just take it off like this. And now that that's kind of that sticky layer is still there, I'm not even gonna worry about it because I'm gonna use this cabin and trim paint because it's the only paint that I have. Um, to paint over it with and this foam brush right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and put about four coats on there now I suggest you probably should use spray paint and you will lead, need less coats and it will be a lot faster but I didn't have any so I'm just using this white paint I'm painting the lid here and I paint on both sides but I suggest not painting the inside because it's kind of hard to open once you get all the paint on there so don't paint the inside and to paint the little cat face I'll be using a paintbrush a dotting tool and a toothpick and I'll start with the eyeballs, and I've kind of penciled kind of where I want to paint on the uh, container. And then I'm just going to paint the eyeballs on with some black acrylic paint. And then I'm going to move on to its little mouth, and it's kind of just two little half circles. Now I'm going to draw some lines on the side of her face for her whiskers. Now I'm going to take a toothpick and give her some eyelashes. Now I'll take some light pink acrylic paint and paint her nose. And I'll take some pink acrylic paint and paint her bow. And I'm going to put a couple of dots below the bow. And I'm going to put a little bit of black up above the bow. I'm going to do this on all four corners. And I'm going to take some white acrylic paint and put two dots in her eyes for eye shines. And now I'm gonna take darker pink and just put a couple of dots on the bow. And now I'll get my cotton balls and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here. That's why I made this cute little thing. It's gonna hold all my cotton balls. It's kind of an organization tool and yeah, it's all done. Oh, and yes, you can even store your hat on it if you like. Another thing is refrigerated fruit and you buy some and it comes in this kind of hard plastic container and this had cherries in it. Um, by the way, I should probably mention you should clean all these recyclables before using because that would be a little weird to have cherries in your nail foil, like cherry juice in here. I have to say it would probably smell good, but uh, I'm just saying. So yes, clean these recyclables before you actually use them for these purposes. Anyway, so it's kind of like hard plastic and they have like refrigerated fruit in them. I cleaned it out and I kind of just put my nail foil in here for now and my wheels. These wheels. Okay, I'm now moving on to this butter container. Now I'm going to flip over to voiceover style to show you what I use this for. So let's go to that part. 
Now, for the butter container, I usually put uh, apple cider vinegar and a half of a lemon in here, and this is my nail soak, which I soak my nails in to make them more healthy, and I use the other half of the lemon, lemon to stick my other hand in, and I usually use the top of the butter container for like a drip pan, because sometimes, you know, you get lemon everywhere, and that's uh, what I use the butter container for. That's it for those. Thank you for watching this like kind of cheap way of finding things to put your nails in and use for nails and if you want I was thinking about doing a bloopers video like a whole video on bloopers of myself because I cut out so much bloopers because there's so many things I screw up so let me know in the comments section if you want one of those videos in the future thank you so much for watching this video if you already haven't if you're new please subscribe and um, give it a like if you liked any of these DIYs and tell me which one you think was the most useful down in the comment section below I'm gonna drop this pen pen paintbrush again. So guys, I'll see you next time There's probably a video right here and right here for you to click on if you might want to see these two and I'll see you guys next time Bye.